So there's a teaching which comes from an ancient Tibetan tradition, which comes from an even older Indian tradition, and that's the teaching of the bardo, the in-between state. So bardo, the word literally means between two. And what it signifies is the ending of one process before the beginning of a new process emerges. So these in-between states are said to be um, really uh, fruitful areas for practice, so that the opportunity for liberation is greater in a bardo. But we need to recognise that we're in a bardo and we need to practice in the bardo. So we've been in a kind of bardo over the last number of weeks in this lockdown. Uh, our normal lives have ended and we've entered into this new kind of life and all of us, I'm sure, have experienced all kinds of things that we've never experienced before. We've probably had a deeper encounter with our own self, our own mind, our own heart, our own thoughts, and maybe a deeper encounter with some of the realities, some of the truths of life, for example, the truth of uncertainty. So that's one of the characteristics of a bardo. Uh, particularly the, the, the bardo that arises after death, that is very un, it's a very uncertain um, time, it's a very uncertain experience. So one of the things that we might have encountered is, as I say, a deeper encounter with reality, and that might have helped clarify what it is that's important to us in our life. Sometimes when things are stripped away, what's left is the core values, the core ideals, the core things that we're striving for in our life. So hopefully we've, we've had some kind of encounter of that kind. It might have been quite challenging, it might have been quite difficult, but often these challenging, difficult times, they do clarify what's important. They do clarify what we value. So there's a number of different bardos. One of the bardos is the bardo of rebirth. So this is basically where we, the, the death process ends and we enter into a, into a new birth. And in a way, that's kind of what we're coming into now. This hiatus is coming to an end, this lockdown is coming to an end, and we're beginning to re-enter into something that's a little bit more like our normal lives, although I don't think things are going to get quite back to the way they were anytime soon. So the particular advice for the bardo of rebirth that comes from this tradition of the bardo says, one pointedly holding fast to a single wish, may I be able to continue the course of good deeds through repeated efforts. So it's as if what we're being advised to do is to carry something from what we've experienced, carry some of that perspectives, carry some of that clarity into the next phase of our life so that it can inform the next phase of our life. So we might like to reflect, you know, what have we learned? What have we discovered over the last number of weeks? And how can we distill that into some kind of intention that we can carry forward uh, into the next phase? So yeah, so that's what I want to leave you with, just that very simple thought. What have you, uh, what have you learnt? Uh, what have you discovered? And how can you distill that into some kind of intention or precept uh, which you can carry into, our, into the rest uh, of this, or, or this coming phase? So one pointedly holding fast to a single wish, may I be able to continue the course of good deeds through repeated efforts.